crooked. No, hold on. Yeah, that's uh, that's pretty good. There you go. Yeah, I try to get as perfect up and down as I can. Actually, it looks pretty good. <laughs> and of course, I get it perfect. I'm I'm going to immediately do this so I can ink it. <laughs> <laughs> Once you got it all lined up, then you go then you go sideways on it. That sounds amazing. That's good stuff. It's good anyway. I need to get something on here. I was working on that other, um, the other stuff I'm working on is just random, random stuff. Maybe to make merchandise with or something. Right. Uh, just you know, just to get something going out there. But I've been, you know, it's just just some ideas I'm toying with. So is this just a, a commission, a commission or a convention thing that you're working on right now? Uh, this is a convention piece. That I was just doing for the fun of it. Uh, yeah. This was whenever I was doing the uh, the Inktober stuff. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <coughs> I just fell off the bandwagon. I just couldn't keep going. Um, so I was like, forget it. I'm not going to do it anymore. Yeah, I, I fell off the bandwagon too. I did. I, I did I, more than I thought I would, but not as much as I wanted to. Uh, That's for one year, I've been able to do them all. See, I remember that, that a guy wanted a Jessica Rabbit. Yeah, it looks pretty good. So I was like, okay, I got to get that going for him. So, and then I'm, I'm planning on to do a stream with me coloring this piece. But I keep forgetting to grab my Copics uh, <laughs> before the daughter gets to go to bed. And then I'm not going in there the rest of the night. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> so, and then... uh I'm also been working on a buddy of mine's. Um, he's got a comic. He's got several comic book series he does, and mm. uh, messaged me the other day. And I don't want to give out any details just yet, but uh, I might be. I'm testing out coloring some of his stuff right now. Okay, cool. That's awesome, man. Yeah, we're working it together right now, trying to figure out exactly. What's in his head for this for this series that he wants to do? Um, I've been wanting to work with him for a long time, so if if this works, it'll be awesome. It'll be exactly what I've been wanting to do for a long time with him. Nice. So you're gonna color um color traditionally then, right? I mean, if everything works out. No, it's all it's gonna be all digital. Oh, you're gonna do? Oh, that's right, because you uh, yeah, I, I already, forgot you're a Photoshop dude. Yeah, it's already um. I mean, it's already a comic book series that's been around. He just wants to re, um, re-release it in a sense. With oh, yeah, Eric. Yeah, I don't know if you know who Art Dibert 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 is. Artie Bear. He mm. did. Uh, he did a book called Black and White for Image, like back in the nineties. Oh yeah. He's re-releasing the whole thing. He's calling it Black and White Remastered. Oh, cool. So and uh, what he's doing is the books that he did back then. He's uh, anything that he didn't like, like since he's gotten so much better at drawing from back then to now. He's just scanning it, the whole book digital and changing, uh, changing the panels he didn't like. Well, that's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. So that's what they're doing. So that sounds sounds kind of like what you're doing with this guy. Yeah, he's, like I said, he's he's got six or seven issues of this comic. It's one of my. I love the comic book series. Once we get the details, I'll let you know. Yeah, yeah, cool. But um, yeah, I, I love the comic book series, and I've been wanting to work with him for a long time. And uh, yeah, he he messaged me the other day. He's like, "Look, I want you to test coloring this real quick." So I worked on a few panels, and he he's a very picky guy, and right? You know, he's he's been in business for a while, so I can't hold it against him. And, uh, <laughs> But it was comical because he's like, I don't even know what's in my head for it. I'm like, dude, <laughs> I can, I, if, I, if you don't know what you want, then how am I going to know what you want? He said, like, we're just going to work on this together because I never thought about coloring it ever before. Right. So like, all right, it's, it's just we'll, we'll, we won't get mad at each other for, for, for trying to figure this out. So uh, I got to send him uh, the, the next page I colored for him to see what he thinks. Well, I hope he likes it, man. That would be awesome, dude. Even if it is just re-releasing it as a remastered, it's all, still pretty all, cool. Yeah, all I've ever wanted to do is just have my name next to his name. That's it. Okay. 
<laughs> hey, look, man. That's that's my goal. Have my name next to your name someday. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, well, nobody. But I did get my check for Upper Deck, so. Oh, they pay, they're gonna pay you. Yeah, yeah, they pay you. Oh man, that's awesome, man. Yeah, I can't say how much they're gonna pay me, but well, I mean, I don't. That's that's between you and them. Yeah, definitely don't don't want to get involved in that racket. Yeah. Gotta you gotta keep them them NDAs in good standing. Man, I'm really hoping I get to do it again. No, oh, yeah. How many did they accept total? Uh they they accepted every single one I I, I sent in. So I did I did thirty sketches. And wow! And it took all of them. They they took them all. I didn't. Wow! I can, I can release all all the sketches for this series. The last series I did, um, I, I did ninety sketches, um, and they they there was one that they didn't like, and I can't disclose which one or for what reasons. But um, right. I, I can just say that one. I can and I can never post that picture. I have it, but I can never post that picture. Yeah, it belongs to them, right? It belongs to them. They own, well, they they own them all, and I'm allowed to showcase every single one that they uh, deem worthy of the upper deck slash Marvel standard. But any that aren't, um, I can't disclose what the character was or for what reason. Right. So, but yeah, this this go around, um, I was happy to be able to say that they accepted every single one, and. Uh, and I got my check in the mail. Nice. Yeah. Um, yeah, and the, the cool thing was, too, I didn't know, but you can actually, there's an official website for um, for each group that they do, mm -hmm. that series, and you can look up what the complete set is for the official card. So, like, um, uh, which uh, celebrity signed uh, pieces are in there. Which character pieces are in there that officially that are from the movie or from whatever it is, um, and then they'll they'll actually tell you um, what other special cards in there. And right. You know, that there's so many artist cards inside the whole set as well, and they list all the artists that are inside the series. And so my name's actually on there. <laughs> I didn't know about them the last time. Like I said, the last time, uh, last time was really hectic. This time wasn't so bad. Nah, man. So I'm I'm talking to a celebrity now. Shoot. No, I'm not, it's not celebrity. We're still I'm still a nobody. <laughs> <laughs> wow, well, man. You know you you know you somebody, man. You know. I'm, yeah, I'm it, sure do it again. You know. It's not, yeah. At the end of the day, it's not about the money. It's not about you know famous. It's about uh, hopefully my kid can look at look at me and go, Daddy's doing something that he enjoys. Yeah, that's always good. You know. <laughs> Yeah, always leave that legacy behind. I think it's a it's an innate thing that men, mankind. I'm gonna say mankind. I'm not gonna say men as a general, but it's an innate thing that we have uh, to want to leave something. <coughs> excuse me, a legacy behind for the generations to see. It's not a bad thing. Yeah, partial of that too, but you know, at the end of the day, it's it's you know, whenever you get to get, you know, hopefully. Every dad hope, well, hopes to be able to, or every uh, parent figure hopes to be able to, to, whenever they do that, bring your parent to school day. Right. Just want to be like, you know, oh, uh, I'm an accountant, or oh, I'm this or that. You know, th those aren't the exciting parents, you know. The, the exciting parents are the firefighter, the police officer, the EMS, or, you know, something big. And so, you know, on the flip side of that, it's like, you know, I don't want to just go to my school's my kids school and be like, yeah, but I'm an IT guy. I sit <laughs> at your desk and fix people's printers all day. I mean, I be able to, to, to show that I'm that I'm doing something that he can do something if he wants to, and my daughter too. That yeah, definitely. You know, if she can do something, definitely, definitely. Yeah. So uh, what do you what what are you working on? I mean, I know it's a convention piece, but what do we got going on here? Uh, Mumra the Ever Living from Thundercats, the cartoon series. That's um, what I thought it was, but you know. <laughs> well, 
the last, but one of the last Inktober's I did, I I, I did, uh, I did the Mumras, and I decided it's been two years since I've done a Mumra that I needed to to revisit some of these old characters I I had had not touched in so long. Uh, I wanted to see what they look like now since I've I've grown a little bit in two years. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. I'm going to tell you what, whatever camera you bought is pretty doggone awesome because that's coming in really clear. This is that um, uh, that 90, 9, 920, whatever it is that Philip wanted me to get. Right. And that's what that's what this one is. Huh. Well, you know, Philip, Philip has got good taste. Yeah. And then I got this computer that, that our, my boy Steve let me have. Yeah, I heard you got it fixed. <laughs> We got it, dude. I still don't understand it. I still don't get it. And I know I could see it in his eyes. He was just like, Josh, I'm like, look, I plug it in. You tell me which you told me all the USBs in the back work. I physically plugged each one in to just see if it lit up on my keyboard and none of them lit up. Plug it on the side where he said, don't plug it in. It lights up. So I'm like, I don't know what to tell you. I take it into work. All the backs light up the the side. <laughs> I, I don't know. I'm done. I'm done. I don't know what to tell you, man. It's possessed. Don't, it don't fight the feeling. Daddy, it wants to go back home to daddy. He doesn't want to do what I'm doing. <laughs> well, at least you kind of got it working now, so that that's well, good. They, they disabled the um the ports on the side, and and they kept messing with the ports in the back, and they all they all function. So, um, so far so good. It. it it hasn't it hasn't reverted back to driving me crazy. Well, you know that's 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 important, man. Whatever it is, apparently that the process is good, camera is good. I mean the 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 drawing is crystal clear. Awesome. So, awesome. so when you start doing when we when we get you up and running and your YouTube channel's up and running, you you're gonna be putting out some good some good vids. Definitely, most definitely. Tomorrow, um, I am supposed to be interviewing uh, um, a team of guys that created a book called uh, Asami. Okay, uh, it's like an American manga. And oh, it's cool. Pretty, pretty cool. Pretty cool uh, looking artwork. Um, so hopefully, I get a chance. We've been trying to get together and talk for a while now, but. <clears throat> They've been they they uh, closed their campaign and they moved the store and they're trying to move towards fulfilling and it's just been it's just been rough to get them on but they want to still come on so hey I'm all for it and then I think it'll be after church sometime four or five o'clock or something I don't I haven't figured it out yet but we both we'll figure it out by before tomorrow is up. Yeah, I know I'll, you got to work tomorrow, so yeah, I'll try and catch it because I got I got to work my twelve hour shift. So yeah, it's called Assignment Children of Rusu, and it hit its goal one hundred and seventy six percent. Nice. So I'm pretty sure they're happy. It's like a samurai uh, looking book. I like the artwork, so I was like, yeah, I'd like to have you guys on. You know, just talking whatever. There's then, a guy that you can try to interview that I know that I've done some work for. Uh, his name is Ray Kaufman. Okay, I definitely. Hey, if they want to talk, I'll talk. Yeah, he's a buddy of mine. We uh, we seem to be traveling the same comic cons here recently. Um, yeah, and uh, I've, I I got the uh, the honor of working with him with his Kickstarter he recently did this year, and I got to do a piece of one of his characters. At a certain level of the of the Kickstarter, you got you got this piece. Oh, um, cool! And, uh, and he had he had a few of us that we've we've known him for a while, and he, he reached out to a bunch of us. He was like, "Hey, would you be interested?" And a couple of us that are uh, buddies of his jumped on it and said, "Sure, yeah, that's no problem, not a problem." So we all did different characters, ironically. So <laughs> he just said, <laughs> "Pick a character," and so I picked uh, his main. Uh, one of his main female characters, she's a ninja, and I uh -huh. know how I would would do her, and uh, he absolutely loved the piece. So I was like, "Sweet, I did it right." <laughs> but 
but uh, but like I said, we've been we've been ironically been traveling the same comic cons here recently. Nice, 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 nice. I think he's gonna be in my next one. I don't know. <laughs> well, yeah. I'll figure out how to get out to your way. I mean, uh, North Carolina, uh, Fayetteville just passed, so I think the next one after that is going to be um, the Raleigh Supercon. I think that's next year. I think that's the one you should go to. Well, see, if I do it, I got I to gotta find a hotel, decent enough hotel to stay at, and hopefully it's not too much. Yeah. We'll figure it out, man. Use some of that... Uh, what, um, Top money. Top money. Shoot. <laughs> no? Okay. Never mind. Let's put it this way. I find I, I call it a success if the con pays for itself. I think you I think you'll be surprised. That con is packed. Um I do well in Lexington Comic Con. And this con that's in Louisville uh, used to be called Derby City. And now it's gonna be called Supercon. Um, and it's by the same guys that you were just talking about that it, it's going to be near you in the spring. Um, they're the same guys that run the Tampa one and I haven't worked with them yet. Right. So hoping, I'm hoping it does pretty good because Louisville's Louisville's been pretty good to me. Um, we were in Tampa two years ago and, uh, it was just, it was just okay. If I didn't, if I had had more, uh, Butts and boobs on my artwork. <laughs> it would have sold better. The guy next to me was just—he was doing very well. Yeah, some people like those uh, '90s body styles. No, it was chibi. Chibi. Oh, it was okay. chibi, dude. I was just—I looked at my wife. I was like, "Man, I did not come prepared because it was—it was—it was supposed to be a, a Comic Con." <laughs> And everyone was buying anime. Yeah, anime is uh seems to be pretty big right now. Yeah, and it was chibi. It was like chibi girls with chibi areas. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, you gotta be joking. It happens, man. It happens. So we didn't. We didn't. We ended up not going back, but we we might see in the next year or so how how it goes. Understood. Understood. So yeah, <clears throat> that's what I was doing this earlier. Was just uh, trying to do my one day, my my daily art job, trying to you know work on stuff. Yeah, you know, so I can continue to improve. Because you know, eventually I want to do my book. Mm-hmm. So one of these days I'll get around to that. <laughs> mm-hmm. <coughs> Excuse me. Like me, one day I want to get around to do my comic book. It just always yeah. I'm always doing inventory for the next event. Yeah. I mean, but like you said, as long as you're breaking even or gaining, at least, you know, that's good. As long as you're not coming out of pocket. Yeah, no, the the Tampa one Tampa one would have probably been the only one that I felt like we came out of pocket, but my wife would probably say differently. But I I didn't feel like it was that big of a the big of a show for us. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, that Elliot piece, my wife's getting that. <laughs> That's pretty sweet. Yeah. Cause I bought, um, I bought his, uh, his book at the commission level. So I get his sketchbook and a commission. It's a pretty good price. I think it's like 150 or something like that. <clears throat> you know, but I, I commissioned from Melia Fernandez at that price. It's not bad. Like even said, if it was even my, if it was just a commission, you know. Yeah, my wife, she got she got his stuff. Uh she got that Raven, she got Colossus, she got Skeletor. And I don't know how much she she uh she paid for him, but I was really surprised that she got she got him that fast. Oh yeah, he works pretty quick. He did that. Um, he did most of that on that one live stream, and then he finished it out on a second live stream. 
Well, see, he does. He does something really cool. Is that he's got? Oh, this where is it? Right here. He uses the brush technique. Yeah. And I do not have steady enough hands. I cannot do it. My lines are very pre precise. I have a lot of lines in my piece. So <laughs> I just. Yeah, but he changes it back and forth though. He was talking about that when he was doing my piece. Um, he was saying that he uses the right tool for the right job. So you change back and forth between the brush pen um, and you know the Copics or whatever he was using. I think he was using a uh, Micron uh, pigment Microns. Yeah, I got I got those too. These guys. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't like them. Um, I did for a while, but I've had so many pieces ruined by them that I, I had to I had to stop using them. <laughs> yeah, I got those on my go bag. I call it my go bag. I have a I have one of those, uh, you know, uh, them little binder dividers that you can put pencils and stuff in. Yeah, I got one of those, and I got a uh, I got like uh, the microns in there, uh, some white pens, some white out. I needed eraser, uh, my uh, lead holder. Yeah. Yep. It looks just like that, too. <laughs> minus, minus the gold Sharpie because I don't I don't sign my artwork. Oh, man. Uh, yeah. So I do if people ask me to. You know, I don't I don't really sign it. Oh, well, the, the, I, I got to be honest. That's bag one. And then I got two boxes of Copics. Yeah, I, I noticed that if you get into the Copic ideal, that you're gonna have to get a lot of them. Yeah, and uh, they're not cheap, so you really need to have uh, some kind of uh, case or stand. But what I did realize with the Copics, opposed to the other ones, is they're actually labeled, so I know that if it's red, it's red. <laughs> <laughs> like with the other ones, I'm guesstimating. I like this. Look like it's supposed to be red. Yeah. Um. Yeah, because on the on the end of the on the end of the Copic, it tells you what color it is. R twenty four, R right, whatever it is. Yeah. Yeah, and the other markers don't. So that might be beneficial to you then. Yeah, yeah. Actually, uh, I kind of liked it when I when I picked up the flesh color ones. Um, I could I could tell that you know I could read the marker and I was like, yo, that's that's pretty cool, and they blend it better than the ones that I bought. Yeah, so, yeah. The alcohol so, mix they do, yeah, it it blends so well. You don't even have to. I mean, you can buy the blender. I bought one, but I never use it. I bought the blender for the Copics. Um, I'm for some reason everything came in before that. I'm like, oh, okay. So the blender's supposed to be coming in next week or the week after. I don't use it anymore. Uh, I don't think that I will need it either. But you know, just to have it. You know. Yeah, and I um I used it there for a while, but then I felt that it was less blending and more diluting. Ah. It's and kind of water watering it down. Yeah, like I could take it and I could hit a piece with it, and it wasn't blending it so much, but it was fading the the color out. So, I mean, there's <coughs> times where I've been like, "Oh, look, that color is just a little too sharp," or I wanted to cause cause a really cool effect on the piece, and I would use it there, but I don't I don't really use it for blending. Right. I don't know. I'm, I'll check it out. I'm just playing with it. You know, I'm I'm way behind the power curve on all on that, and I usually I don't. Really don't feel like I should be coloring due to my, uh, you know, uh, slight impediment with the visuals. As a matter of fact, I was playing Red Dead uh, right before we came on. <laughs> I couldn't see the stupid reticle. I changed it to colorblind mode. <laughs> oh my gosh! Wow. I forgot to change. I keep. I forget to change my games to colorblind mode, and 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 it's detrimental. I couldn't see what I was supposed to be doing. I was like, man, this is dumb. Why I keep feeling this mission? Changed it. I'm like, oh, that's why. <laughs> How far are you in it? Not too far. I just captured um, the the one dude that you're supposed to capture by the river, tie him up, and bring him back to the camp. Haven't done that yet. Thanks for ruining it. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, it, it's not that far into it. It's like the second or third thing. All I've done is killed the deer. 
Oh no, you're farther than me. I haven't killed the deer yet. You should have killed the deer. Nah, I, I killed some wolves. Nah, see, so you should have hunted deer. Oh wait, you know what? You may have skipped that mission because there was two missions. Okay, so I went and set up the camp, right? Yep. Um. Then I went and rescued the dude that was on the mountainside. Gone. Right. Then I went and got. Um, went down to this camp and shot up a whole. I had a big old. That was the most fan I had. That's where I got, I'm going right now. Yeah, I went in there, shot up everybody. Even though I couldn't see the reticle, but apparently it has auto aim. So all I did was pop behind the thing, pop that buck and shoot, and it was auto aiming the guys. So that was once I figured out it had auto aim, which was about halfway into the fight because I couldn't see where the reticle was. <laughs> wow! I was like, wait a minute, this has auto aim. Just shoot, Jimmy. Bow. I'm like, okay, we we good, we good, and uh, and uh, so so now I did that, and then I captured. After that, we were on our way back, and uh, we captured somebody, and now he's we're gonna interrogate him. All right, so yeah, if you had gone to the other point, um, oh yeah, because I haven't talked to the other dude yet. It was the cook, and he says yeah, we need some deer. Or we yeah, need yeah. Go out and find some, and that's but, where you, that's where you get the bow. Okay, so what happened was I didn't go to him yet. I went to the first, the guy that was closest to me. Okay. Yeah. So we have Joshua Hughes watching. He thought I was talking about him. <laughs> <laughs> so Josh, I think, hey Joshua, thank you for joining in. This is my friend Josh. He is uh one of the guys is helping me with my artwork, and uh, we just decided to test. Uh, him his equipment out so he we brought him on live just why not bring him on live and we just he's just drawing and eventually he's gonna have his own uh channel so I figure we can get him some exposure <laughs> too many Joshes in the world well you're the, you are the only two Joshes I know of so there's that I only know two of y'all <laughs> So yeah, so that that's why I haven't done the deer yet. Um, I gotta go talk to the other dude and go go get the deer. Hopefully, um, because I didn't change it to colorblind mode till after I did the big shootout, which oh. was actually kind of fun. Cause yeah. I grabbed the rifle and I was just tagging them boys up. And uh, that was fun. I don't like the reticle though. Uh, that that little circle with the little dot. Oh I'm my not, god. I'm not really liking that reticle. I'm going to use all my ammunition shooting those wolves. Dude, it's got auto aim. <laughs> I, I couldn't figure out how to make it work. Uh, it works. You just just uh, don't aim and then aim again. It'll find the nearest target and just uh, shoot. Release aim and then aim. And it'll it'll that's what it did for me. But with the wolves, I had more fun uh, running them over with the horse than I did shooting them. I just, ran, so just hit them with the horse. <laughs> It's like okay, like I didn't even know I could kill him with the horse, but the horse was running them over. They was just dying. And I'm like, okay, cool, that works. Let's see, I gotta start Assassin's Creed Odyssey, and then I'm trying to 100% Jurassic World. Hmm. Nah, I think I think I'm gonna do Red Dead and in, in beats and in, in bits and pieces. Because I, I, you know how I get. I'll start playing that thing, and it'll just time suck me away from everything. Yeah. That's why I haven't really played it too much. Yeah. Oh, man, John. John brought me a stack of comics uh, uh, Friday. Um, all Daredevil stuff. Holy smokes. Nice. Um, he got me... Uh, Oh my gosh, the, the the Daredevil season now is uh, but it's a rebirth or whatever. I forgot the title, but um, he got me that book. I actually have that book. Where yeah, the with next season yet? Huh? I haven't watched the new season of the TV series yet. It's not as bad as people are claiming it to be. I actually enjoyed it. I thought it was pretty good. I don't know. I never finished Luke Cage. Never had any interest in Jessica Jones. But and that's the funny part. Jessica Jones is the one that's 
in the least threat of being canceled. And uh, I never, I never even started Iron Fist either one, season one or two. Yeah, season one, blah. Season two was pretty. I don't know. Season two was better, but it it just just started giving every. <coughs> well, you're probably not gonna watch it. So they, they gave everybody the dog on Iron Fist. Iron Fist was just being passed around like like it was candy. Well, hey, that's amazing! Yay! You know that's what they did. Davos had the Iron Fist, and Colleen had the Iron Fist. Then I was like, wait a minute, what is? Age wasn't the acting; it was language. <clears throat> For what, I, Luke Cage? Oh, I, I had a problem with the language, dude. Well, Luke Cage, Luke Cage is is definitely a, a whole different different scene. But when they did the high, the Heroes for Hire episode on Luke Cage, that was amazing. That was the best, uh, most watched. That I don't know how to do the ana analytics for um, Netflix, but according to Netflix, it was the most uh, watched episode out of everything they've done. Marvel. Yeah, no, I just whenever they started saying certain words, I was like, "Oof, ooh, ooh, I can't have this on." <laughs> oh yeah, the kids, the kids. Oh, well, the kids up can't do that. Yeah, yeah, Luke Cage wasn't that bad. Iron Fist, uh. The one that I really don't like the most is actually Jessica Jones, and everybody just loves that thing. They're eating it up. I just don't understand it. No, I, I have no desire to see it. I don't understand it. But this uh, Daredevil Season 3 is actually pretty good, so I'm not going to say nothing other than it's actually pretty good. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to finish The Punisher, and I'm like episode 7 or 8, and I just I put yeah. it there, I didn't pick it back up. You don't like the Punisher, man? That's the whoa. I don't know. Blasphemy. I felt like he was too depressing. Eh. Not enough Punisher. Too much wham wham. Think so. I need some more bam bam, not wham wham. <laughs> I mean, he gets into it eventually, you know that oh, the whole wood, the whole in the woods scene where him and the, his buddy were 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 killing all those guys left mm -hmm. and right. I was like, oh, oh, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get him. <laughs> and then, yeah, I, I don't know. The only thing is like uh for this season of Daredevil season three, I, I was always I was like, okay, Frank Cass is gonna show up right now and kill everybody. <laughs> I was like, nope, didn't happen. Okay, moving right along to the next uh <laughs> to the next episode. All right, Frank Cass, no, no, but um <clears throat> I don't know if anybody uh if anybody doesn't know by now, um Bullseye is is the villain, and uh, it's it's an interesting uh, take on him. But the guy did a really good job. Is he better than the the movie Bullseye? Yes. <laughs> well, you don't have to be that much better to be than the than Colin Farrell um, on uh. So good though. You know, what you think that? you think uh accent and the. It is is twitching and it just yeah oh yeah he was so great yeah they I mean I don't want to spoil it for you because I know you're gonna watch it so I'm not gonna say I uh, I binged it last night and uh and then I finished it out this morning so it's still fresh on my mind <laughs> then yeah. I play some Red Dead because well, uh the Daredevil series yeah yeah so. then I play some Red Dead um to pass some time um. And then when you caught me, I was like about, I was yawning. I was like, man, I think I'm going to turn in early. Yeah, see, I knew it. And then uh, you're like, no, let's go live. Let's go. Uh, let's let's do something. I'm like, all right, cool. You know, I don't mind. I like, I actually enjoy this. I actually enjoy talking on stream and talking live. And now, especially since you're over there drawing, that makes it even much better. I don't even have to put it on me for anything. I just <laughs> leave it on your screen. <laughs> let you draw away. I'm let people where my lines were, it's, it's this. I did this piece, and then I put it down, and then unfortunately some of the lines have rubbed away, and I'm still trying to figure out what did I do up here to connect certain pieces. <clears throat> I don't know. I can see lines from over here. <laughs> I can see the outline anyway. Yeah. Where's Most of it. So, ho, oh, bit biters on in the house.
Here's the pencil you need to get. What's that? This is a point two. That's a super thin pencil. It's a super like that. That's the, the most you can. Here, let me get that. I got a pretty thin one. I got a. That's that's probably a Japanese pencil. <clears throat> I don't know where my wife got it, but it's insane. Like you can only pump it twice, and it says don't pump it anymore; it'll break on itself. Yeah, I I break thin leads. I I gotta learn how to have a lighter touch. <clears throat> Philip is is in the house. Excuse me, Bitbiter zero one zero one in the house, making fun of us that Boomers finally figured it out. <laughs> it wasn't my fault. I'll send him the link. You sent the <clears throat> wrong account. That's what I was trying to get you to get to the other account. I was trying to figure it out. Next time I'll just send it to you on Twitter. I know you have Twitter for sure. <clears throat> yeah. I don't I like it. Say I now. I don't use Twitter very often anymore. Look, man, we're gonna have to figure something out. I'm gonna have to smoke six on that thing to you. <laughs> you know, I don't know if you can click on a smoke signal link, but we're gonna make this happen. <clears throat> Shoot, hey Philip, <clears throat> you want to jump on the on the stream as well, or you just you just want to sit there and mod in in silence? Might as well get him on. Shoot, I love this pencil. Oh my gosh. So you got a blue lead or normal lead on there? I have normal lead, and then I've got, I have the blue lead, and then I have the red lead. <clears throat> I haven't used the red lead. Uh, it's it's seldom that I use either one of them. I use the blue. <clears throat> this, this point too is what I normally do whenever I'm like, I'm really enjoying a piece, and I will just detail the crap out of the, the the piece i don't even need to because i've already drawn it out with my my either my three or my four or my five but the point two is there i'm just like i love this piece so much i just want to keep drawing it and i just put all sorts of lines and stuff in it with this this pencil nice nice <clears throat> Let me see what we got going on here. In silence. He just got out of the shop. I, I can work like y'all work on the weekends, man. That's crazy. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't mind it. I mean, yeah. I to do it, so I do it. <laughs> Oh, <clears throat> a bit by the the um, post office says you'll get your uh, your bot your book in by Monday, so be on the lookout. And then uh, I'm probably gonna donate the other books to uh, to the comics for Titans. Um, I really didn't like it, <clears throat> but hey, it's whatever, and not everything is gonna be to everybody's liking. I wasn't too thrilled on that one. And uh so yeah. Yeah, that happens. So the the um young lady that, that asked for the um poison ivy, mm -hmm. she got it pretty quick. She like it? Yeah, she actually did. I was I was kind of shocked, <clears throat> to be honest with you. Cause yeah, uh the guy who wants Jessica Rabbit, he bought um, Roger Rabbit off me at, at a show. Um, who was it? Was it, Lex it was uh, the one day event in Lexington. No, I'm sorry. It was the one day event in Frankfurt. Um, he showed up and he used to run the comic book store in Frankfurt. And uh, and so he he's he's bought some stuff off me here and there before. And then uh, he really liked the Roger Rabbit. Whenever he was leaving, he goes, you know, I'm going to need a Jessica Rabbit next time I see you. I was like, all right. And then we got to talking about the, the upper deck cards and how they're showing up on eBay. And uh, he's the one that went out there right in front of me and bought, bought them off eBay. Oh, yeah? Yeah, he was like, yo, I got to get them now. Before <clears throat> he won't kill me. 
Hey, man, you know, people recognize talent. You know, it is what it is, man. Don't get it. You know, it's okay to be humble, but you know, it's also, you know, don't, 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 uh, don't kill the fire either. You know what I'm saying? I wonder if any of the other ones have shown up yet. Mm hmm. That, sir, is a great question. Yo. <clears throat> That is a great, great question. Oh, the has shown up of the new set is Iron Fist. Oh, yeah? Yeah. There's two of my older ones on there, but um, Iron Fist in my new series. So the new series is out there right now. That's good, man. Yeah, so so John got me the rebirth, the Daredevil rebirth, man. Uh, that's a Frank Miller one. That's pretty cool. I was pretty stoked. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I haven't, yeah. I haven't got to keep up with any of the Daredevil stuff. Yeah, that's an old old one. I was like, whoa. But no, but I think uh, I don't know. Bit I don't know. Bit Bite has watched uh, Daredevil season three yet. But like I said, it's not bad. I liked it. <clears throat> I thought it was pretty good. Kept me entertained. You uh, know, they did the whole, you know, leave you at a cliffhanger type deal thing. Uh, I'll tell you at what, the, the, guy, the hmm? guy who plays Daredevil, he's really cool to meet. Have you seen him already? Have you met him? Oh, yeah, I met him uh, two years ago. Oh, yeah. Charlie Cox. <clears throat> it, I, I had to make a comment, though. I was like, you know, it's really weird to see you with your eyes moving. <laughs> yeah, he does a pretty good job of looking like he's actually really, really blind. He does a great job, and you wouldn't know that he's got a British accent. Yeah, that's the other thing. When you see him on the interviews, he's British. And see, like, I hadn't I hadn't seen him in his interviews or anything. And uh, it was at a Wizard World in Pittsburgh. And uh, my buddy was there, and uh, he was working for Wizard World at the time. I was like, dude, I'd love to get to meet him. He's like, oh, yeah? I said, yeah, I'd love to meet him. And so he walked me up there, and I got to chat with him for a little bit, and it's it's really cool. Nice, yeah. He seems like he seems pretty cool, man. He wouldn't let me take a picture. No, no. They they have something. They have. Uh, I don't know if it's the cons themselves or them themselves that have the camera phobia, but it seems like <clears throat> like uh like there's a code or something. And it's just because. At the time, he was literally leaving, so I didn't get to get a picture with him. Oh. No, um, they were they were really cool with any type of pictures and stuff. I just didn't. Uh, I hadn't made any money that that convention, mm -hmm. and uh, and I didn't pay for the convention, so um, I uh, I didn't have the money to, to spring for a, 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 a an actual picture with him. Right. I got the meeting. Right. So. <clears throat> So here's one thing that bugs me. Now that we're talking about pictures and cons, <laughs> like you got some people, right? And uh, and I understand they got to make their money. That that's that's fine. You know, you go into the con, right? You stand in line. You're gonna pay your sixty bucks or whatever to get a picture of this dude and you or this lady and you on your phone, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm not gonna say no names. But me and the wife, we went to a con, and we were like, all right, you know, we'll, we'll pay the money because we just really want the picture, whatever. And they said, oh, is it two of you? We said, yeah. They said, well, that's 120. I was like, how do you add another 60 bucks? It's the same picture. Now, I understand they got to make their money. I get it. I get it. <laughs> But you just doubled it. You didn't say, you know what? Ah, eh, seventy-five. I would have been like, oh, okay, maybe I could. That that's more palatable, you know. That's like I I might be able to do that. But you add another sixty, and it's it's still my phone, and it's one picture. And if it doesn't come out great, you're to uh, you know, sol. Yeah. See, I got my picture with Billy D. Williams, and then me and the wife got pictures together with oh 
the the guy who played the the original Chewbacca. I okay. Always, I always forget his name, but he was really real nice. And um, now there's been a few celebrities I've gotten pictures with that I did that I didn't pay for. Right. Uh, that I just got talking through with the, with the con and I was like, you mind if I get a picture with it? They were like, no, no problem. You know? So and that a lot of, a lot of celebrities now, since I've been traveling with them, you know, I don't, I don't really try and get so much stuff from them, but yeah. See, that's spoken like a true celebrity. Like, Hey, I don't even have to, cause I'm a celebrity myself. I'll quit. Like, okay. Like the voice of Charles, like the voice of Mario, Charles. <laughs> I wish his last name, but um, I've run into him several, several times. Um, I worked for GameStop, and, and it's been it has been years since I've seen him. And uh, and we we had a uh, it was Vegas, so there's a few drinks and stuff. But oh well, we're not talking about the rest of that story, right? Um, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Exactly. But so I'm in Pittsburgh, and I'm sitting there waiting for the bartender. Well, I was at the table waiting for the for the waitress, and the waitress never showed up. And I was late to the party and everything, so I was like, "Okay, forget it. I'll just walk up to the bar real quick and get a drink." And while I'm standing there waiting for the for the bartender to finally turn around, I noticed the guy to my right, and I'm like, "God, I swear I know him from somewhere. I don't know anybody from Pittsburgh. I've never been in this town." And finally, it hits me. I'm like, "Charles," and I get talking to him and everything, and um. And we, we, we exchanged like, you know, hey, I, you know, I used to work for GameStop and this last time I saw you was in Vegas at the conventions and everything. And, you know, and he we were all both remembering those days of working for GameStop and doing stuff around it. And finally, bartender comes up and he's like, what do you want? I said, well, I'm going to have two rum and Cokes and I'm paying for whatever Charles is drinking. And um, he was like, no, 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 that the, 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 you know, like, there's certain benefits and everything. And it's, it's going to go on the, on the, on the room. I said, I don't care. It's been eight years since I've seen you. I'm, I'm paying for your drink. So he ordered a glass of wine or something like that. And uh, the next day I walk up and uh, I walk over to his booth and I start talking a little more with him and everything. And he just right there, he's like, well, you won't, won't we sign anything? You want to take a picture? Is there anything I can do for you? You, you bought me a drink. At least I can do is do something cool for you. Right. So I had him, I had him sign a pic, uh, one of his posters, and he's really cool because he gets in the character. He's talking like Mario and uh, <laughs> Mario while he's right now. He's like, "Wahoo! It's a me, Super Mario!" And he's just doing right. everything. And um, I was like, "Well, you know, my kid's never gonna believe me. So, would you mind I get a picture with?" Me? He's like, "Not at all." So, you know, he takes a picture with me and everything. And, um, and then uh, we we were in Lexington. And he showed up there again too, and I got to talking with him and everything, and and he he sort of remembered me, you know, and uh, he signed. A, I drew a, a a Mario while I was there, and took it over to him. I was like, you know, how much how much to to have you sign it, buddy? And he's like, nothing. I was like, oh my gosh. I was like, really? <laughs> I don't like, mind paying. He, you know, I know you did something for me last time. He's like, no, for you, whatever. Come here. So he signed it all up and everything, and, and I gave it to my kid. It's because you're a celebrity. See, you you, you don't want to admit it, but you're a celebrity. You got people just doing there. things for you. I ain't there yet. Not, next thing you know, you'll be getting swag bags just for, just for attending the con. Oh, my God. I do have to say that there's a con that's coming up. I asked them, I said, so do we get special rates on the room? <laughs> Like you know, for being a vendor and everything, and they're like, "No, unfortunately, we don't do anything." I'm like, "Okay, I was that's, that's cool." I'm just trying to see. No, I've got buddies that they get paid to go to cons. Yeah, but they get put up in crappy hotels. No, no, they really don't. I don't know. Uh, Brian Shearer came to the Fayetteville con, the one that just passed, uh -huh. and. Uh, uh, he he went on. He went live, and he was mad because he had roaches in his room. <laughs> he had roaches in his room, <laughs> and he was like, "Man, this this place sucks." But then again, it is Fayetteville, North Carolina, so hey, it is what it is. Oh man, poor guy, that sucks. Yeah, he went on a rant. He was on uh, Mike Miller's stream, and he went on a rant. And then Mike Miller opened the room up. 
So a couple of us from North Carolina joined on the chat, and then we started talking. It, it just went off the rails after that. I think it was it was it wasn't a good idea to just invite people into the stream that are not part of the actual community. Having a it was just the fans and uh and the two pros. <laughs> oh my gosh! So it was kind of funny, but that's what I like about this this little art community that's online now. It's like. Sometimes they just check their egos and allow people to just join, just to join, you know. Right. Connect with the fans. You know, it's missing. It's missing in this industry. It's that there's that connection. But yeah, but I, you know, so like I was saying, the dude, um, he says he said 120. <laughs> I was like, nah, nah, bro, we're not doing that. We're not doing that. No. No, that's 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 ridiculous. And then um, in the supercon, I ran into uh, Nathan. I want to say his name is Nathan Nathan Nathanson Nathan. Uh, dun, 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 dun. All right, I'm gonna yeah, Michael Nathanson. I'm sorry. What? In, okay. He is the guy that died in Punisher. Um, okay. I don't know if he got that far. Um, like, he's the guy that got stabbed in the neck and got the close up dying. So, know. so um, why did he play agent somebody? He was one of the special agents. Anyway, ran into him and uh, and uh, he was super cool about it. He was like, "Man, take as many pictures as you want. Put as many people as you want." You know, it's just this, you know. But then we go on this booth and we and we get the picture. He's really cool. He does like five or six different poses. You know, he's like, let's do a sexy pose. Let's do a crazy pose, you know. So he was really cool about it, man. Like he was having a blast with it. And uh and uh <laughs> and we go to his table because he said, You, you know, with the package you get a signed, you know, picture from the show from Punisher, right? And uh I looked at the pictures, and one of the pictures is of him being laying on the floor and stabbed in the neck, dying. And I was like, bro, you really need to talk to your agent, man. How do you have a picture of you dying? That's one of the pictures that, that you put out. He said, I don't know, but that is a great question. <laughs> so, oh, man. I'm like, man, you, you can have a, you know, I said, like, you know what? I'm not even going to do you dirty like that. I, let me, let me, I'm going to find the most, you know, the, the most, um, the best post you got looking like you know, like you some like you really something fierce, and then we're gonna buy that picture because dude, I can't buy a picture of someone you know stabbed in the neck. That's not cool. But you know, you have you have those people like that, and then you have like I said, the other people, you know, that are still living in the past and way way overcharging. I think for something like that, but it is what it is, man. Well, I'll tell you another really cool person I've got to meet was Alan Oppenheimer, which is the voice of Skeletor from the cartoon. Right. <laughs> and um, that was the first con that we actually, I'm sorry, this is the first Lexington Comic Con that we had a booth at. And my wife was like, look, you're a big Skeletor fan. You need to go down there and see him right now. You'll never know if you'll ever see him again in your life. And I was like, no, yeah, you're right. And I was just... I, I, Felt really bad because you know, we didn't know if we were going to make any money that show and everything. And well, Tori was like, No, I don't care. Go, go, go meet him. I was like, All right, cool. I'm going to go meet him. And so, what an experience it was to talk to that man. And, um, like, I, I talked to him about, you know, childhood and favorite character out of like all characters. Skeletor is still my favorite character. It's all because he played the voice. Right. If the voice hadn't been like that, I wouldn't have cared. And um and then he even took the time um that I showed him a video of my son because I was like, Look, you know, you, you shaped my childhood, but you also are shaping my child's childhood. And I showed him a video of my son sitting there um laughing like Skeletor and watching the He Man cartoons and like getting excited when he saw Skeletor and everything and and he he really seemed genuinely like moved by that like he thanked me for letting let him see the video and um 
it was just really neat to, to talk with him. And then another voice actor, um, Steve Bloom. Right. Um, I'm, oh my gosh, if you ever get the chance to meet that man, uh, even just be around him when he talks is just amazing. I loved talking with him. And like per norm, I draw a piece that that's original that I'm never going to get rid of. And I, either me or my wife are going to keep it. So I drew a character that he voiced from a cart, uh, a video game, uh, bullet. What's it called? Bullet storm. Yeah. Another video game. Uh, bullet storm. Yeah. He played a character, Grayson. And, um, I drew this the character Grayson up and I brought it to him for him to sign and he stared at it and looked at me and looked at it and he goes, did you draw this? I was like, yes, sir, I did. He's like, oh my gosh. I said, well, one, I don't have very many times where I sign this character. And I was like, really? He's like, yeah, I don't, I don't sign this character very often for anybody. I was like, well, I'm going to tell you right now, we named our kid Grayson because of the character you played on here. And it was one of the first games me and my wife co-op together. Okay, cool. And I was like, well, you, you, you were playing this character. It means a lot to us. And uh, I can watch shows now with my son. And I'll be like, hey, that's Steve Bloom. That's the character from this, this, this. I can just name you from anything. And he knows those characters. And I said, so yeah, you, you know, you're, you playing this character meant a lot to us. So he signed it and everything for me, and and then he, you know, like I said, we got to talking and everything, and um, he was like, "So, the kid's named after Grayson." I said, "Yeah." He's like, "Has he ever seen anything I've ever played in or done voices for?" So I got to thinking, and we watched all of Transformers Prime, and he was Starscream, and so I mentioned that, and I said, "But wait, you did the kids' version of Rescue Bots, and you did Heat uh, Heatwave." I said, he loves Heat Wave. And so he grabs a picture of Heat Wave and signs it Grayson from Steve Bloom and just hands it to me. He's like, how much? He goes, nothing for your kid. And then, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. And Bitbiter said he had a Master of the Universe number one gold foil in his hand today. Now, we don't know if he bought it or if he just had it in his hand or if he was just admiring it, but he had it in his hand today. What is that? Uh, he had a Masters of the Universe number one oh, gold foil. Man. Oh, man. Did he tell you about it already? No. It's He-Man. So I'm, I'm automatically in love with it. <laughs> oh, man. It's a sick one. Uh, well, he, sa he says it's still available because he didn't buy it. Oh, man. No, my wife will kill me. Image series. Mm -mm -mm. No, anyway, it's it's available, Josh. You know, yeah, so thank you. I'll take reservations. <laughs> well, you know, you know how big biter is. He, he stirs the pot, man. Yeah, yeah. Most of the the, the pops I collect are just the He Man ones, so it's bad. All He Man, all the time. Yeah. Speaking of which. Now that uh, Philip, um, excuse me, Bitbiter is in a, in a new Adobe, I wonder uh, what his decoration is going to be like now. Oh, yeah. decorations? Yeah, because you know he won't he won't have that that uh, he's going to have free reign to do what he wants to in that house. I'm kind of worried. I already know what one of them is. I'm kind of worried. Warlock piece that he's got. Uh, he got all the J. Scott Campbell. J you know, huh? No, that wasn't him. Send you the link. All right, hold on. Send you a link for the for the for the thing. I send it to the to the Facebook Messenger. Hold on, let me resend it.
the pro- he probably doesn't have fa- he probably doesn't have messenger on his doggone computer either. The me? Oh, uh, <laughs> Bitbiter. Uh, well, I just I got I got my phone right next to me, so I'll just look at the phone. Yeah. Oh, as it breaks. Up oh, there he is. Yeah, dude. <laughs> I was gonna say, don't be like Josh, man. Don't be like yeah, Josh. No. Don't make my life difficult, man. <laughs> I'm not a boomer. <laughs> <laughs> so what's going on, Bitbiter? Oh, nothing. Just I traded off a bunch of my pops today for some back issue comics. Oh yeah, you getting rid of the? You got rid of some of the pop figures? Yeah, about uh, about eighty of them. Wow, <laughs> that's a lot of pop final figures. Oh, so on a funny note, um. My wife um, started decorating her desk. She got Josh's Hulk on there, you know. I, I, you know, people people are digging it. They, I feel bad. They, huh? I feel awful that you had that Hulk. I almost want to draw you another Hulk because that Hulk is so old. Hey, that look, she likes it. Know. She likes the Hulk, okay, and she likes Wolverine, and she likes Frank Castle. She likes all those misunderstood characters. You know, <laughs> so she got the Hulk. So um, I used to have a whole bunch of pop figures in my desk. And um, she was like, oh, I think I'm going to get like some pop figures. I'm like, why are you going to get some pop figures? I got, you know, I got a whole bunch of them. So she grabs my best ones. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only way to do it. I was like, these are all the ones that say collectors. Like, I said, it's okay. It's okay. You could, you could, I know nobody's, nobody's going to mess with them, you know. So she took my Frank Castle. <laughs> she took my Punisher. Oh, <laughs> I was like, man, Punisher? You going to take my Punisher? So, yeah, she took that. You want to be Venom fan? You should get it a Venom pop. I don't have one, but I can get one. I sold mine yesterday. I can get one. Um, no, nah, man, she's good with the art, man. She's gonna get that Elliot Fernandez original, man. The original Elliot Fernandez uh, Storm. So you still got that one I sent you, don't you? Which one? You sent me um, original. You sent me an original Spawn. Yeah. yeah, I got that. That ain't going nowhere. <laughs> yeah, I let I let go of an original storm today. Mm-mm. I'm not going. Uh, yeah, no, we we I ordered that storm from Manny Fernandez. He he does that black and red series. Oh, I don't know if you caught it, uh, Bit Biter, but he did it on stream. He did it live on stream. Oh yeah. Yeah, I sent I sent the stream to Josh. I didn't send it to everybody, but uh. Yeah, he was. I was on the stream when he was drawing it. Well, I wasn't like chat. I was like typing. You know, one of the little yeah, guests. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and man, oh, I asked him. He was like, "I'm gonna do. I'm gonna work on the commissions for Black and Red." And I just happened to be on the chat. I was like, "Yo, can, can you do the store?" He's <laughs> like, "Like, can you do the store?" I, was, I said, "After I do the Scott, I'll do the store." I like bet. You know. Nice. So he started it on that stream, but then he cut the stream off. Then he finished it um, right before drawing a quarter stream. It looks, I think I sent Josh the finished piece. It looks so amazing. Huh? It looks amazing. Yeah, it, it looks pretty doggone good, man. Cool. Yeah, yeah. He's like, I messed up the uniform. I said, I don't care. It's an Elliot Fernandez original. It don't have to be all the way true to form. You know, you can, it can have some artistic, artistic liberties. <laughs> I'll draw it again. Right. I said, nope. I don't want you to draw it again. I want the one you just did. Yeah, I mean, he. I, 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 I guess I don't know that the Storm's different costumes well enough to know that he messed up on it. Mm-mm. You can't really tell. Because what happened is everybody tried to put input. Like, no, I'll draw the Mohawk Storm. I'm like, nah, man, I'm paying for this piece. Y'all shut up. <laughs> like, like, y'all need to be quiet. Don't make no suggestions. <laughs> I pay for this piece. It's gonna be original, Aurora Storm. 
not this Mohawk crazy storm. I mean, the Mohawk storm looks good too. Don't get me wrong. Mohawk storm is my favorite. You know, it, she's got edge to her, but I just like the original all white hair flowing everywhere storm. You know, I can't help it, man. And uh, he did a really, 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 really good job. And when I get it in, then uh, when we get when I get it in, and uh, Bitbiter and I we're gonna try to do some reviews. Uh, he's just waiting on me to get my copy. So we well, can I, still, I still need to finish reading Iron Sights too. <laughs> Is it that slow for you? I thought it. I, I, I'm, mm -hmm. I guess I got about 10, 10 pages left. Um, I don't know. I, I guess because I started reading it so late at night. Uh -huh. Yeah, I, I read it like first thing during the day or something. And um, that way I can get through them. Because if, if I put a comic book down, it, it's not going to get read. <laughs> like, like if I'm <laughs> like, they're like, oh, this, this book is kind of boring. All right. And then... I'll never pick it back up again. I'm a bit like, whoa. I'm a finish. little like that. You know, and then I then I'm they'll be upset that I bought it. I'm like, yeah. I was telling um Josh, man, that his setup is nice because the, the you can see the drawing perfect, clearly. Oh yeah. I saw this preview of that and it was good. Yeah, I was like, whoa. I said uh Said Bit Biter don't give you some good info. It's like when he gets his channel going, I think it's gonna take off, man. If he does art like this and the stream is this clear and uh and is not choppy or pixelated, yeah, man, I think it's gonna take off. I think he's gonna be doing he's gonna be just fine. Yeah, we need some impersonations mixed in there. Yeah, if he does that, that'd be awesome. <laughs> at eleven o'clock at night, your brother's gonna give you a talk. <laughs> <laughs> well, at eleven o'clock at night, you know, uh, might be a little late, but people will watch the replay. Uh, so yeah, I mean, it is my sincere hope that people will watch the replay. Because <laughs> right now we're competing with Gary Shipman and Doug Tenapel. It's not a, it's not a good time to be competing. At least we're not competing against Evs, because then nobody would come and watch. At least a couple of people dipped in and dipped out. So. That's good. Yeah. You know, right now it's just me. I'm the only one because I, I always watch because I need to keep track of the chats. Well, I don't have to, but if people start typing, then it'd be nice for me to be acknowledging them. So the only person watching is me. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, yeah. I didn't even think about that. Oh, that's good. Don't worry about it, man. Sure. Stay where you're at, man. Chill. I'm, yeah, I'm entering all my books into my database, so I'm focused on that, to be honest. Yeah, that's cool. I'm watching the chat. You know, if I made it to 64 subs and I'm boring, shoot, imagine imagine Josh doing good art and yeah. doing impersonations. I did pick up some good stuff, man. I got uh, some Adam Hughes uh, Catwomans and uh, some J. Scott Campbell G.I. Joes. Nice. Oh man, Josh has, Josh has been here all this time. Josh has used that is. I didn't even realize he was still here. Hi, Hell Raven. Okay, see you later. Later, Joshua. You have a good evening, brother. <laughs> yeah, people have been people are come in and out, you know, but they'll watch it. Eventually they'll watch the replay. Depends how I tag it. Um I'm not gonna tag it like I normally do because uh Josh is Josh is not in that in that click. So I just tag this one differently, keep his name clean. Keep my name clean. Yeah, I won't <laughs> I won't hashtag uh usually uh like independent artists I'll hashtag indie, hashtag comicsgate, but I won't hashtag comicsgate for you because uh you still work in conventions and you're not, you don't know about that. So I'm just going to leave yeah, that right. completely out of this. That is, so. I just draw. You know, so we're just doing drawing. 
Josh, are you trolling? Uh, Josh Hughes is trolling Cross Comics. Uh, that guy is uh, very interesting to watch, to say the least. Um, he's doing a book. I don't know if he's ever going to get it done, but he's doing a book called Canadian Shield. He's building his own universe. Very interesting. You know, very interesting character. Then you got John Dillard, who also trolls him. He's actually, John Dillard is actually pretty good. He draws pretty good. So he's an interesting character as well. Today they were messing around drawing uh, their version of a Hawaiian shield. I don't know why, but it was kind of interesting. And uh, yeah. So Bitbiter, you are, uh, did you get Red Dead or you're staying away no. from that mess? Uh I'll probably eventually get it. I'm in no hurry. Right. Uh, you know, right now with me moving, I'm I'm still a little pressed for money. Should I need to play Sea of Thieves with me? Sea of Thieves? Nah, man. I I'll pass on that. <laughs> oh, it's it's pretty fun. Love that game. Is that is that play anywhere game or is that like uh just Xbox One? Play anywhere. Uh I might get it then just to play on the on the laptop. Yeah. And it's part of Game Pass too. I didn't get the Game Pass, man. I did because of all the uh play anywhere game titles. They all go to that, it seems like. Because I, I play Horizons that way too. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I was hoping that Dead Red was the same way, but it's not. I don't know, uh Josh Joshua Hughes. If I can get Josh to uh to attend that competition, I think I think John John uh, John Dillard might have some issues, man. Josh is pretty good. What is, is someone talking in the chat? Yeah, uh, Joshua Hughes is talking. John, there's a uh, so the pros, the comic book pros, uh, Mike guess Miller and them, they hold a competition called Drawn and Quartered, and they um, pick a pick a character, and they get two hours to draw it, and then the um, the non fan artist, which I don't know, I think John is a is a pro because he saw he sold something or he made a comic. He might not be at the level, but uh, then they hold their own competition a day later around I think it's ten o'clock Eastern Standard Time, and they uh, they draw the same character. Like if last week was Skeletor, so and then you know they um. They they oh, get voted on and whoever wins. Well, you don't get no money, but you know, some sometimes the winners get put up and they get they get a chance to draw up against the chant against their pros. Yeah, you know, it's kind of a fun little thing to do. And then uh when the fans do it, the fan edition of Drawn and Quartered, they change the channel so everybody gets subscribers. So it's a pretty cool way to do it. So, you know. I don't know. I think, I think, I think. I uh, haven't watched it yet. Yeah, I don't watch it because it's too late for me. Yeah, see? <laughs> that's that's a nice looking Skeletor right there. Now, EVS did a crazy looking Skeletor, man. It was pretty nice. Actually, I, I, I got to say that. I posted this and someone, someone, um, started commenting on it on Instagram. Right. And I looked him up and apparently he did like an official art book for Masters of the Universe. Right. And it was all like nice lines. I really like the the smooth lines you did on the Skeletor. I was like, thanks, you know, blah blah blah, blah blah blah. And then I was like, huh. And I clicked on him. I was like, oh shit, this guy's a the act an actual artist that worked on He-Man. Oh my God. <laughs> I nerded out <laughs> <laughs> tell you man you, you need to stop down in your skittles man you're pretty yeah. good yeah it, it, it just I, I was just like giddy i was like oh my god <laughs> you look at me need to stop down in the skittles man you got the skills to pay the bills man yeah but that's up to you josh if you ever want to do one of those man i'll make i'll make the intros Oh, you don't even need intros. Just show up one day to one of the channels and be like, yo, I want to compete. Oh, no, two hours. 
I have to, I have to start practicing. Next time they do a video, I'll try and do it in two hours. <laughs> yeah, they get to it. Then sometimes they finish it, sometimes they don't. I mean, Evs did like a half a bust. He was missing like an arm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one arm. Yeah, one arm with a staff. But it was detailed. Now, the the part that he did was super detailed. Don't get me wrong. Better than any what he did in two hours would probably take me five days. So, you know, I mean, it's cool stuff. You know what I'm saying? It's, they they do a lot of little fun things like that. That's Just great. a way to get you know keep getting your name out there and whatnot. I'm not at that level yet, so I stay away from those things. But then again, I shouldn't say that because one of the guys uh, on the fan, uh, Booster, he's not really an artist. He'll draw a stick figure. <laughs> <laughs> and that's his submission. So <laughs> I think, I, I think I'm, a, I'm a little bit above stick figure, but not that much. Uh, you're not giving yourself enough credit. I'm all right. I'm all right. I couldn't do it in two hours either, though. Not I couldn't draw anything like that in two hours, though. I know for a fact I couldn't. It took me to do that Poison Ivy pretty much all of Saturday. And when I mean all of Saturday, I mean from 8 o'clock in the morning to like 10, 11 o'clock at night. I can draw pretty quickly, but inking is what takes me forever. Yeah. Well, you got a steady hand, you know, and you do some crisp lines. So, yeah, I can see that. I'm kind of hap. I'm kind of like careless with my. I'm not. I'm not gonna say careless with my inking, but I'm pretty quick. I'm much quicker with my inking than I am with my pencils. Because I guess when I'm doing the pencils, I still don't see it. The whole product, you know, like the whole picture, it still hasn't come together for me in pencils, right. completely. But when I start doing the inks. Then I'm like, oh, okay, it's making sense to me now, and then I'll just shh, 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 shh. and it'll go quicker. But I don't say that much quicker because, like, that one video we did, the first one that uh, Bitbiter and I did, just testing out the systems and whatnot. So we it was two hours long, and I was still inking that that piece. You know, it was digital inks, but still inking. Now digital takes me even longer. Actually. Man, you know, like uh, that little branch, whatever I did, I did the um, the part that took me the longest was the pencils. The digital ink went pretty quick, and I used the lasso tool, and that gave, and I used that to give it that wood texture because I used just, I just lasso like a little area, boom, and it looks like part of, you know, it looks like uh, bark from the tree, and I, I just lasso, lasso, lasso. For some reason, uh, for shapes, if I start just throwing down like uh, dark shapes, then I can make something out of it. And it's kind of weird. Like, not shape shapes to make like like the body or whatever, but like the shadows. If I throw the shadows, I can kind of feel the body around it. That's it's, crazy. It's like I'm an abs like abstract drawing. It makes more sense to me than I don't know. I don't know how to explain it, and but I was telling uh, Josh <laughs> a bit by that that I couldn't see the stupid reticle on Red Dead, and then I forgot I had remembered that I have to change to the colorblind mode. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so so hopefully that helps. <laughs> I did a mission and and I went into a gunfight with my reticle not being able to see it. It was just. Because the first few missions is in a, in a snowstorm and the reticle, I guess, is white. And I'm I'm losing it. I, <laughs> I don't know what the heck I'm pointing at. I'm like, what am I pointing at? Everything is white. <sighs> I can imagine. Oh, well, there's some games do that to me anyway. And I'm not colorblind. I was like, this is boom boom. I, I done blasphemed and said that. That our Josh could take John Dillard, I, I believe he can. I'm gonna start something. I'm starting some internet mess, man. It's gonna be drama. They're gonna be hounding you now. <laughs> nah, they're not like that, man. It's just funny. 
It's just funny, funny. Yeah, dude. But I think uh, once you get your channel up, I think you'll be all right, man. Yeah, we'll see. Has this let you start streaming yet? He said he started in Twitch. Yeah, I did a, I did a 30 minute stream last night. But it was real late and I didn't really post anything like, you know, like I'm going live or anything. I just out of the blue I was like, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna try Twitch real quick. Yeah, I didn't post a I didn't post anything on this one either. I just went live and called it a day. I just cuz it was just us, you know. I was I'm not gonna be over here stressing about it. It's just us to get the kinks out and to see how your system was looking and everything looks beautiful. So I think you're gonna be fine. And once you get your channel, stop putting videos on your channel. I'll put cards. I'm doing that for all my videos now. I didn't do it for this one, but I'm doing I'm putting cards now where they just pop up in the upper right hand corner oh, yeah. with a little eye. And uh, one of them is to Phillips channel. <clears throat> oh nice. Yeah. So, so one of the cards is always pointing. So if they ever see, if they stick long enough, and they like, I put, I try to put yours like the first or second card, just in case they click away real quick. So it just pops up like, hey, check out Bitbiter, zero one zero one's channel. Yeah, I feel bad. I've missed a few of your videos. I don't feel bad, man. Shoot, it's all good. Tomorrow I'm supposed to be doing one with uh, Asami Children of Rusu. It's like a American manga samurai looking thing. Um. But he he's been having so much of a Stephen Hart is the guy who drew it. He's having, uh, you know, we have, we've been having issues with the times and whatnot because I think he's in the West Coast, so we haven't ironed out a time. Time I know you're working tomorrow, so it'll be all right. You know, I don't think uh, I don't. It'll be kind of like an impromptu stream, you know. And then Monday, I'm not working. I'll be moving some more furniture. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. Then Monday, I think uh, I'm going to have um, Mike Macklin in, and I put a poll out there. Uh, it looks like uh, tax strategy codes or whatever is what they want to discuss. Oh, wow. So we'll talk about tax strategies. Let me make sure that, that I'm not lying to you because I, <laughs> I looked at the poll, and it looks like Stack Strategies was winning. Uh, let's see. Yep. So 67% for tax strategies and 33% for debt consolidation. So I had to let him know. We might do it this one day at eight if he's ready. If he's if he's ready to go. We try to keep it for 30 minutes though, man. Them long videos for finances. I mean, they got a lot of views. Um well, there's a lot of people interested in that type of stuff. Got a lot of views, but I mean, hmm. I'm not much it, on it. But it's it's uh, it's uh, the views are a relative thing. Um, because I don't, my channel is so small. Like, to what to me is a lot of views to other people is like, yeah, that's not yeah, a lot not of views. Much. You know. But let's see what it did. Um. I think it had like 50 views, and I don't understand all the analytics. Um, let's see. No, it, had 50, a lot, actually. It's, it says it had 50 views on like a 1,000 viewing hours. Uh, I don't understand that. Like I guess 50 people on 50 different IP addresses that were not the same person actually watched it, and between those 50 people, they hit a 1,000 hours? Uh. Yeah. It's just whether they watched the whole video or if they just jumped out midstream or yeah, they said the average view time was like twenty three minutes. Yeah, that's that's what you're trying to do is get that higher. Yeah. So for for an hour when that video went on longer than I thought it should. Well, not that longer than I thought it should. I actually thought it was gonna go that long. It's just that I didn't think I wasn't expecting to go that that long. I was expecting like maybe an hour and twenty. Went like an hour and forty. But live streams are fun, but they're unpredictable. You know, you mm -hmm. don't know, you don't know how they're gonna go. Oh, Josh, mm. Pentel brush pens or pocket pocket brush pens. What was your thoughts on those? Mm. 
I mean, this is the only one I use right now. Is this, this Copic brush pen? Hmm. Um, I've used that before, and I had something that was a a pre fill one that it had like an ink cartridge in it, and it did fairly well. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. I like the ink that comes out of this. Right. But I'm pretty upset with the quality of the brush. Right, because it, it I don't I, use my Copic brush pen at all because of I, that. Yes. I hmm? just got this and like I, I got the four the four pack uh, of these guys and I've had to replace the the point zero three twice the tip because the tip just even the bright one I have right now is just utterly just crap. It's not working. And the other ones I know I legitly wore out to I had to replace them. But this one I've barely used just this just the detail you you kind of see here. That's all I do with it. And it's it it, it it spreads all over the place and it causes multiple lines, so it's not very precise. And I didn't buy a replacement tip for it, so um, I'm just using this as I, as I can, but yeah, I don't know. It's definitely, if you're going to buy this type of thing, you, you're going to need like two or three tips for this brush pen. Yeah, I'm not using that brush pen. I, I tried it, and I'm not I'm not using it. I this, actually, go ahead. This one is one that you you, you have, uh, it's, you fill in with some type of cartridge. Uh, but I got to the point, I wasn't filling in with the cartridge at all. I just had a well of ink, and I just dip it in there and just brush as I needed to, and just dip into it and brush as I needed to. That's not a bad strategy. But no, I, I just got to the point recently that if I'm doing a lot of black on a piece, um, you'll see me block it off and I'll X where I want it to be and where all the black is. And then um, I'll just go back in with a, with a Copic marker with the, with the, uh, um, the brush tip on it and yeah. I'll go to town doing that for my inks. I'm using for big black areas. I'm using this big old uh, Faber Castle pit thing is huge mongus, man. Let me see if I can, uh, because I don't want to take it away from your art to be honest with you, but this big boy right here. Oh, yeah. That's what I use for my for my big black uh my when I'm blocking off black areas. Look at the size of that tip, and it lasts for a long time. That's all just black ink, but it's not fine tip. So, mm. see, I don't really need it too fine tip, but I definitely need it where it doesn't fan out like crazy. And after you know, a few pieces here and there, and it just, I'm really not happy with the quality of, of the brush on this. Yeah. And I've really tried on this tip to um, not go crazy with like big areas and like being real gentle with the tip because I really wanted to make this last. Um, right. Because you know, I've, I've taken a knife and I've shaved the tip on this one a few times, trying to, trying to fix it and everything. And Right. Um, on, on previous ones, you know, you taken taken a pair of tweezers and plucked out certain ones to try and just make it last just one more day. Um, <laughs> I was really trying to be careful with this one, and I was uh, not really happy with it. Hmm. But like I said, with the ink quality of it, oh man, that it, it's amazing. Yeah, I, I do get some deep blacks. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. I don't know. I've tried a little bit of everything: the Windsor brush, um, the brush pens. Um, I'm still, I'm still playing around with it. Well, like I said, there for a while, I was using, I was using these guys, and um, I, I would, I, I was guilty of taking the the really big ones of them and using that to fill in areas. Yeah, and, but and that point where I would go back and take a look at it and yeah it was nice and black and it didn't smear 
but the paper was torn up. Yep. That's and what I was going to say. You could tell when you use a small tip, even, no, the, even the eight. Yeah, I wasn't using small tip. I was using the eight. Yeah, but the eight is actually, if you compare it to like that brush pen, the eight's yeah. still kind of small. And uh, it was just tearing up my paper. Now, I, I'm guilty of using the seven over here to do it, and it's fine. It doesn't tear out my paper, but those those micros, they um they've torn up several pieces. Yeah, um, it gets it gets tough. So, but it is eleven forty. I am going to call it a night, gentlemen. I'm not mad at that because I got to go to church in the morning. But <laughs> at least we uh we tested Maybe. it out. <laughs> Josh is uh an amazing artist, and we're gonna call yeah, it a night. Job, man. And uh, we'll, we'll talk to you all next time. Yeah, we'll have to get, I won't touch this. I'll just keep working on this with the stream. <laughs> hey, it sounds good to me. Shoot, we can pick back up tomorrow if you, oh, you're working tomorrow. Never mind. Oh, yeah, we can do it Monday night. Monday night. All right, sounds cool. I'll see you then. All right, see, see you guys later. Later.